Welcome to Western Tabletop. Today I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing and a quick impressions of some of the new starter sets from Bowetta War Games 148 Tactic. So behind me I have two of the starter sets that are in the uh, Battle of the Bulge um, theme. And this one is the US Army 101st Airborne Division. Uh, each of the starter sets includes four unit figures, uh, four unit cards, all the various tokens that you need for the game and four pieces of resin terrain. Uh, and the other starter that I have with me right now is the German Volksgrenadier uh, 26 division. And again, this has four infantry figures, the unit cards, resin bases and all the tokens and some dice. Uh, there's also a quick starter rules in this set. Uh, how about we have a look at the individual boxes, shall we? Okay, so we're just going to have a look at some of the packaging before we have a get into this box. So this is the US Army uh, 101st Airborne Division starter set. So um, if you have a look on the back here, we've got four different uh, US uh, riflemen from the Airborne. We've got all of the uh, tokens for the game, uh, some dice and four unique pieces of resin terrain. There's also a A3 size quick starter rules in this set. So let's open it up and have a look. So this will be my first look at any of the 148 figures in person. Um, it's only uh, a new thing that we've, we've been able to order into Australia. And it's really nice for Bowetta to send through a couple of starter sets for us to have a look at. So we'll peel off this um, promotion piece, simple cardboard box, and let's have a look at what we've got inside. So um, I recognize this. This is the quick starter rules that you can download from the 148 Tactic website. Um, so it gives you everything that you need to set up and play and this is how I learned all about 148. Um, basically I downloaded this, you could get these unit cards available on the website um, and I started playing it with my 28mm uh, bolt action figures but I'm excited to get the real thing. So we've got some packaging here, so we've got a rifleman here. And all of these riflemen are named. Um, so I'll have to figure out who's who. This one looks like he's Dean Stanton, but we'll get out the unit cards and have a look at that in a minute. But let's just take one of these out for a moment. Just have a look at the figure. So literally without removing too much flash. Whoa. All right, let's have a look at him. And there's the figure. So, as you can see, it is gonna need a little bit of glue to get that snug fit, but the detail of these figures are absolutely amazing. So there's Dean. Um, and then we've got Frank Williams. This one is the one that's actually shooting, so that's Harry Lee. And the last one's John Kelly, the NCO. So what else have we got in here? We got some airborne dice. So let's have a look. So two 148 Tactic D6 with the airborne logo on them, quite nice. Um, we've got a few pieces of resin terrain in here. So these are all th uh, themed to the Ardents. So Battle of the Bulge. Um, 
So they should be things you'd expect to see in a winter kind of scenario. So the Ardennes is really a big wooded area. So definitely you would see lots of uh, tree logs and that kind of stuff. Um, so this will make as uh, cover terrain for the figures themselves. So if you have a look, he'd be hiding behind, behind that and have cover bonuses for it. So we've got some uh, logs put together and then this one looks more like a makeshift barricade. Yep, and if you have a look in here, you've got this base sized um, gap for the terrain so the figure can just fit right in there. And that has some bonuses um, when determining if a figure is in cover. This, this, this has a bit of uh, play in the game. So uh, it's really nice that it's included in the starter sets, uh, but it is something to be mindful when you're creating your own terrain for this game. So what's this one? And this is just another fortified emplacement with um, made mostly out of wood, which is really cool. Now the, these uh, these terrain pieces are really nice. Um, and we've got one more. So um, there's one piece of terrain per figure you're given in each of these starter sets, and that's intentional. Um, I haven't read too much into the rules just yet, but my understanding is that there's a bit of uh, placement in the deployment phase of the game where uh, people are placing pieces of terrain as cover for their infantry. So think of um, sort of the asteroid phase in, in Star Wars X-Wing. Um, that, that's how these will, will play in. So players are meant to come with four pieces of um, terrain to a match with their figures as well. So what else have we got in this box? Okay, we've got the unit cards. So, let's have a look. Um, let's open this up. So again, these are my first official look at the unit cards themselves. Um, so far, I've only been able to uh, print my own copies. Um, actually got some over here. Uh, for comparison and, and they, these are these are printouts from from a printer you know they don't they don't have the best quality but you know it's it's what I needed to get the game figures on the table but yeah as you can see the quality of, of the official prints is, is much higher so um, you've got John Kelly he's the NCO and if you have a look the the unit cards themselves uh, show what stats each figure has so um, You've got ones that can move a little bit faster. You've got others that um, can use more dice when they're shooting and, and some that have different commands like uh, suppressing and commanding your troops and this, this stuff. Um, then you've got some stats of the weapon itself. So how many shots it does at long range and at short range and what their hand-to-hand -hand value is. And this number here denotes uh, how many activations that particular figure can do in a turn. Now, if your figure gets wounded, it flips over to this wounded side um, and you'll have a look that this, the stats for that figure are less than before and they can do less actions. And if they get wounded again, then the figure is just permanently dead. Um, so this is cool to have a look at. Um, you've also got tokens. So these are your activation tokens. Think of them as the tokens, the uh, order dice that you might use in bolt action. So um, you apply those to, to your unit. Um, so, you know, in a, in, a, in a turn, I might give Dean an activation token and then he can decide to move four or, or, or shoot and, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, we've also got some grenade tokens. So um, yeah, there's a, there's a few different types of grenades. There's a blast grenade, a frag grenade and a smoke. So you've got all the tokens for them, uh, which is great. And there's another set in here, which is the whole um, individual actions. 
So you've, you've got a suppression which, which behaves like Overwatch, you've got an aim which improves your, the amount of shots that you can take, and yeah, uh, you've got, you got to cover one and the wound markers as well. So that's really cool. So that's the look at one box. So um, I'm just gonna very quickly get all these figures together and shot. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you definitely get everything that you need to play. I mean, you get the quick starter rules, you get all the tokens you're gonna need, you get your four figures, you get your four terrain pieces as well. Um, and you're good to go for everything that you're gonna need in a battle. So that's a look at the US Airborne. I'm just gonna tidy all this up and let's have a look at the Volks Grenadiers as well. So now that we've unboxed the Airborne, let's have a look at the Volks Grenadier box as well. So uh, this is the 26 Volks Grenadier Division starter set. Um, and again, this is all themed to the Battle of the Bulge. Um, so we've got four German infantrymen here, all the same tokens that you had in the previous uh, US Airborne starter, including the one page rule book. We've got some uh, German dice here and we've got four unique pieces of terrain. But as you can see, although they're different to what you get in the Airborne set, they're all themed to the same area. So that's it's really nice to have uh, two starter sets that um, have figures from the same period and have terrain from the same period so you can uh, paint and theme these sets uh, to be from the same conflict which is really cool. Um, so we'll have a quick look at what's inside. So we've got the same cardboard box that we had just before. Some blister foam. We've got that 148 tactic quick starter rules which is great. Uh, more plastic, so we've got the four German infantry figures. Um, got some entrenching tools, I think. Um, yeah, log and, and those kind of things. So get out the Kubel, the other terrain pieces, the German dice, and the unit cards. And we'll just get out all these um, game aids as well. So the AT activation tokens, the grenades, and all of the suppression, activation, cover, wounded markers as well. So let's have a look. These dice look quite high quality, which are really cool. So we've got some German dice right there. You can go with my airborne. Um, let's get out the terrain because this stuff looks really cool. So another set of logs with a little bit of canvas on top, which is awesome. We've got some more of this uh, donut terrain, which allows the, the individual figures to sit inside. So some logs. Uh, another piece of donut terrain. Let's have a look here. Yep, you got some barrels, some logs. That's really nice and some sandbag looking things. Fantastic. And now, the interesting one, the Crash Kubel. So um, this is a um, really cool looking terrain piece. Obviously it's a, it's a, a Kubel wagon that's been shot down. We've, we've, we've got the, the dead um, driver in the front and this could really make a nice, um, not only terrain piece, but objective marker. Maybe you have to capture some documents that are in the Kuba wagon, or maybe um, it's a failed attempt at, at, at trying to dis destroy an officer. So that's cool. Um, so let's have a look at the unit cards again for the Germans. Now the Germans are a little bit different to the airborne. In 
you didn't happen to notice, all the airborne had regular rifles. Um, but the Germans are mostly focused on SMGs. So you've got Eric Koenig here, and he's the leader of this small warband, and he's got an SMG, which allows for three shots at um, short range. We've got Dietrich Meyer, and he's your um, rifleman, basically uh, in the sort of role that you might want a sniper to be in. And you've got Christian Kruger and Otto Hessler, uh, the assault um, rifle and SMG troops. And on the reverse, you've got the wounded sides, which have the different stats. So that's really cool. And um, I'm just going to do, just going to rip these open to have a look at them. But um, tomorrow, uh, the reason I'm doing this unboxing right now um, is that we have a 148 demo day happening in Perth, Australia. So um, I wanted to get these starter sets ready for the event. I'm not going to have them painted in time because uh, it's on tomorrow, but I will have the figures ready and um, fix them up. So, you know, I'll have to bend back a, some rifle ends like that and um, you know, clean up some flash and that kind of stuff and get these bases ready. So um, if we just have a look. So that was Dietrich and I'm not sure which one was there because um, yeah, this one's Otto. He's got the, um, the SMG. So that must have been Eric there. And this one's Christian because he's got the uh, STG 44, the assault rifle. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I can't just push these onto the bases just yet. I've got to remove the arms and that and glue them on. But that is the full look of all of the uh, 148 Tactics starter sets that I have right now. Now, I do have the Fallschirmjäger set on order, um, and hopefully we can get that in a week or two and have a quick look at those. I also do have a few other figures that we should have a look at. So Bowetta sent through basically a copy of most of their commercially available blisters. There are a handful of exclusives out there that really come down to events. So why don't we have a look at one or two of these as well. Um, I'm just gonna clean up this area and we'll come back to it in just a moment. So this is as clean as it's gonna get. Um, we're kind of on a roll here and I just want to uh, get through this. So I'm going in the reverse order this time. We're going to have a look at three individual um, infantry blisters that Bowaito have sent through. And I'm starting with the more interesting one for me because um, this is actually a sniper with a scope. Um, so he's actually better at shooting from long range, which is unique to most of the figures that are out there at the moment. So the blisters themselves... Um, just open just like that. There's, there's nothing holding this, this, this plastic together, so it's really quick and easy. So you've got um, Rupert here, and you've got his stats and the wounded side as well. Uh, what have we got here? This is a little promotion about the individual blisters and, and showing you, you know, all the cool ones that you can order. And then it's just in some blister foam. And we'll have a look at sticking this guy to the base. Let's see, I, know, I might have to, no, I don't have to cut it. Okay, cool. So um, fortunately for this figure, there's not much assembly. Um, you know, I, I, I might wash it with some soapy water, but other than that, um, I, I think he's good to go to get primed and, and, and painted. So that's Rupert. Um, and let's have a look at some of the others here. So I've got Wolfgang here, and he's an alternate to um, Christian, um, who has the STG. Having a look at the stats, he actually has an ability um, that Christian can't do. As for the weapon itself, has the same statistics, but let's have a very quick look and see which one of these two is more healthy in um, wounded format. Um, they pretty much have the same stats except for this additional ability. Um, so there's Christian and Wolfgang. Again, another one of those 
collect them all. And here's a look at Wolfgang. So he's got the STG, you know, you'll, you'll have to remove some flash and maybe straighten out some metals. That's just how things are. Um, and that's connected to his arm. So that's really cool. So I will put him back in because he needs a little bit of assembly. And we've got the next available release, which is Ludwig. Um, and he's a Grenadier. So um, there are classes to each figure. And I, I think the classes denote most of their abilities and their loadout. But if you have a look, he actually comes with grenades. Uh, normally grenades are um, something that you pay extra for points to equip with. So cool that he's already got it. And he's got a uh, MP40. So another one of those. And let's have a look at the figure. So yeah, he's, he's holding the grenade. He's got the MP40. You know, just move a few little things and, and pull off the flash and, and these metals will be great, but oh, they do look great. So I'm gonna put Ludwig back in. So there we go. Um, and then let's have a look at some of the US figures. So we've got Pathfinder Jack Miller. This looks like your uh, Thompson SMG paratrooper. And um, yeah, again, all of these blisters seem to be really themed to the same sort of um, front. Um, and with him, you've got, you know, the, the, the mohawk and, and the normal helmet versions um, to apply. And um, yeah, not much work needs to be done on the figure itself to get it painted and ready. So that's Jack. Um, and I've got Robert and Martin here, a Grenadier again. So one Grenadier for the Allies, one for the Axis. Um, but instead of the uh, MP40, he's got your, your standard um, carbine, or is it Grenade? Don't know. It's one of those American rifles. Someone else can figure that out for me in the comment. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we have uh, Ray West, which is a BAR, Browning uh, Automatic Rifle. Um, so that's cool because I don't have anything like that in the Airborne Force I've got here. So yeah, let's just straighten up that Browning Rifle roughly. You can spend a bit more time on it later. But yeah, that, that's really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, I've just noticed underneath, um, you've actually got the full weapon name. So, you know, let's have a look at those American rifles that I can't identify. Um, is this the guy? Semi-auto, so he's got the M1 carbine. There you go, so the, the first, att first attempt was right. Um, cool. So that's all the blisters. Um, but it isn't everything that I got sent. So I also got another set of tokens sent through. Um, and we have the full official rule book here. Um, perhaps at a later date, I'll do sort of a, 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 a review and impressions based on my reading of this book, because I haven't done it yet. But let's do a very quick flip through. Why not? So... Um, that's Claudio, uh, one of the uh, developer of this game. Um, so he's done a little thank you for, for you know, getting involved in this. Then um, some introductions on, on what 148 tactic is, the things that you're gonna need. This is basically all the starter set material. Although you don't need any of this stuff to play, you can download that quick start rules. You can download all of the unit figures that I have in these two starter sets for free. Um, they're the ones that you can print and play. And all of the tokens as well, um, print and play, and they even give you a measuring rule stick. So that, that, that's, that's the offerings that you can see um, on the official website. And then this is gonna give you yeah, some information on what the stats mean, you know, um, you know what the individual um, icons mean and, and how to read the unit card itself. 
and it's going to give you some recommendations on, on how to play. So really, uh, in comparison to a lot of other uh, skirmish war games out there, they really they focus on large battles that are a six by four table, but this is really recommended between um, two foot to three foot. Um, and, and if you have a look here, this looks very similar to a top-down view that you'd find in X-Wing where people are placing asteroids for, for the scenario and that kind of stuff. To give you some ideas of, of how the terrain actually works. Um, then some information about the battle and, 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 and how actions work. So, you know, you can move, you can move and fire, you can aim, you can throw a grenade, you can do opportunity and suppression fire and close hand-to-hand. -hand. And then this is just an explanation of each of those individual moves and, you know, denotes that you can take one, um, one activation token to, to execute these. This is, you know, uh, a diagram of, of how cover works and ranges and that kind of stuff. So um, that's really cool. Really quick, easy, simple game. Um, again, this is my first time looking at this, but um, that quick start of rules, that one pager, um, really got me into it. And I'm, I'm sure this is going to explain a bit more nuance and, and, and hold my interest in the game, but um, really just download that, that quick start of rules to get started. Um, and yeah, uh, one, one thing to note here is grenades themselves take two action points to use. Um, and yeah, you got the different types. Okay, so blast might mean concussion grenade. I got that wrong a little bit earlier, but that's fine. Um, and then this one explains opportunity fire. And as, as, um, as far as I know, they, it works very similar to, to Overwatch does in other systems. In fact, he, he, Claudio says that right here. Um, and then suppression is covering fire, keeping things pinned down, which is cool. And it looks like you can only kind of do that with weapons that are suitable for that action. So, you know, think an LMG or an assault rifle or an SMG or something like that. And that uh, shows you how the suppression mechanic works. So you place a token down and, and it has an area of influence that, that keeps figures like that suppressed in that area. Uh, and then there's the command ability and the camouflage ability, which I've never bothered to really read into how they operate. So um, I'll have to have a read on this very soon. And then this shows you the wound markers themselves and um, how figures react to when they're wounded, which is that, that reverse side of the, of the card. And we're having a look at measurements, line of sight, terrain, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we've got some terrain and we've got some modifiers here on the actual terrain itself. You know, what's impassable, what's not, what's concealing, etc. So, you know, you got sheltering terrain, protecting ter terrain, concealing terrain, impassable terrain. You've got a, a, a variety of different, different things. And then we've got multi-levels for, for, for different buildings. So that's pretty cool. Um, what do we got here? Some information on those uh, donut round cover bases and, and, and how they work um, for cover. And then, yeah, they're, they're, they're saying for true line of sight, you should probably invest in one of those um, laser pointers to, to see if a, a character can get shot or not. Then we're having a look at different weapons. Reinforcements, I'll, I'll have to have a read on that and how that works and victory VPs, cool. Uh, then we got some rules for tournaments, some suggestions there, theaters of operations and mission packs. So, okay, cool. We've got some Ardennes uh, themed missions um, and to show you, you know, what factions were around in that theater of operations. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got airborne, you've got regular US infantry, uh, you've got some Brits, you've got the Volks, uh, the Falsham Jaegers, Panzer Grenadiers, and SS, all apparent in this conflict. Then we got some FAQ kind of stuff. Uh, a quick reference sheet, um, which is cool. Uh, we can have a look at that and see if we can find one online to print out. Some advanced rules that are coming in a new booklet called Aktung Panzer. So in that you're gonna have um, armored fi fighting vehicles for this game, um, some other weapons, so heavy MGs, anti-tank guns, uh, and flamethrowers, Molotov cocktails, mines, and all kinds of things. So that's really cool. That's exciting that that's all happening soon. 
Um, and then you've got all the cutout sort of templates if you um, were inclined to cutting up this book and uh, getting these templates ready. But you know, obviously you can just uh, scan, photocopy, whatever. But these, again, you can just download from, this is exactly what I'm talking about with the free cards. So free cards are the two starter sets worth of infantry. Um, and yeah, you can get all of these on the um, 148 website, these tokens too, and, and all this stuff to print and play. So that's a very quick look at the 148 tactic uh, rule book, the two starter sets and all of the infantry blisters that they've sent through. So thanks for watching. So I thought I'd show in a very quick scale comparison of what a 148 figure looks compared to a, a regular 28mm uh, bolt action figure. So you can see there's quite a bit of height difference. Um, but again, you don't necessarily need these figures. You can play the game in your regular 28mm collection just fine.